strong community in APS. And the best way to start that is by everyone knowing who each other is. Uh, so a lot of us have created slides um, with our name and an image, and we are going to go around in the order the slides are in the um, uh, the Google Doc presentation. Um, and you're going to say who you are, two sentences about what you do, so that's three sentences, and then perhaps if you want, one sentence about what you do for fun. Uh, you will be mercilessly cut off at one minute. So uh, I will advance the slide and you will have to stop talking. If you don't, I will interrupt you. Um, so, and I'm excited about this. So like, you know, I'm, this is my power trip day. So don't go for a minute or you'll be in trouble. Um, and with that, let's get started. Is there any questions about that? I feel like it's fairly self-explanatory, but great, take that as a no. Um, and if you, when it's your turn, you should unmute yourself and ideally you're sharing or your, your camera's on so people can see your little face and your square talking. Okay, so here we go. Great, so those are the rules of engagement. Hopefully everyone followed them. Um, okay, I am Erica Nelson. I am a new assistant professor here at CU Boulder. Um, I work on the study of the formation and evolution of early galaxies, um, especially with James Webb when it launches in this fall. Uh, for fun, I like to rock climb. Lauren. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Lauren Blum. I'm also a new assistant professor in the department um, and affiliated with LASP as well. My research is focused on space plasma physics, particularly within Earth's magnetosphere, looking at the interactions between various plasma populations and waves and um, how they're driven by solar and solar wind transients. Uh, and for fun, I um, play soccer and snowboard. Thanks. Good afternoon, my name is Nils Halverson. I'm a professor and chair in the department. I study the cosmic microwave background, which as you all know, is leftover heat from the, uh, from the Big Bang radiating at millimeter wavelengths. This picture is of the South Pole Observatory consisting of the 10 meter South Pole Telescope and also the bicep kick experiment on the right. Um, I am a collaborator in the South Pole Observatory and also an upcoming uh, space-based CMB project. For fun, let's see, I got a new uh, gravel bike and I've been exploring Boulder County's gravel roads this summer. I am Jeremy Darling. I'm a professor here in uh, APS in CASA. Uh, I've lately been bothered by the neutron. This is an artist picture of the neutron. Uh, physics doesn't understand the neutron. It should have an electric dipole moment. It doesn't for it to not have one. It, uh, you have to invoke a new particle and that particle could be dark matter. Also, if you measure its decay, it has a different decay rate depending on how you measure it, which also points to a dark channel. So I've been thinking a lot about um, dark matter lately. And for fun, I ski about n different ways. Thanks. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Hain, assistant professor in the APS department and last, I've been here since 2018, and prior to that, I was at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. My group studies uh, terrestrial planets and moons, and in particular, the behavior of ice and volatiles on solid bodies. So I wanted to show some examples of the range of different behaviors that we see going from the thick atmosphere of, of Saturn's moon Titan on the left to Mars and the polar ice caps in the center, and then the dwarf planet Ceres and its polar ice caps highlighted in blue on the, the right. So we use a variety of physical models, including numerical simulations and also spacecraft and Earth-based observations. Um, and for fun, I mainly uh, spend time with my one and a half year old outside. Hi, I'm Kevin France. I'm an associate professor here in APS. Um, my work primarily focuses on how uh, extrasolar planets interact with their parent stars. So we do this with the combination of observational and experimental techniques, um, 
lot of work with Hubble Space Telescope. We also build small um, experiments to fly on sounding rockets and the soon to be launched Cute CubeSat mission. Um, outside of work, uh, I like to trail run and do other outside activities that I didn't really get into until I lived in Boulder for several years and had acquiesced to their ways. All right, thanks. Perry, is Perry here? Yes, maybe no. Seems like not. Okay. Yeah. Um, Perry is a grad, fifth year graduate student, and she looks at how uh, Pluto's past informs us about the present state of its surface and atmosphere. Thank you, Perry. Um, oh, shoot, sorry, skip someone. Uh, David. Oh, I'm only seeing a blank screen. Can anyone else see it? Nope. Oh, that looks black. Coming up slowly. I see there's, some there's a tiny little bit of sun at the top. <laughs> Maybe you should try next time uh, using lower resolution graphics and not a ton of them because it looks like it was just loading very slowly. Oh yeah, it just uh, crashed my browser actually, which is exciting. Uh, <laughs> okay, so David, why don't you tell us about that while I pull this back up? <laughs> How about that? So my name is Dave Malaspina. I'm an assistant professor here in APS. Uh, I study space plasma physics, primarily the interaction between the sun and the earth, so the solar wind. And I like to do this with instrumentation, in particular giant voltmeters uh, that we like to build to measure electric fields. Uh, for fun, I like to go road biking and hiking. Whoever shared that can keep sharing. My browser's frozen. <laughs> David, well, frozen. that was me, but I, you know. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on yeah. again? Yes. Yeah. Always works. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted someone. Oh, oh sorry. I could do it for a minute. For a minute. Perfect. Hello. Hello. Should I do Should my I thing? Do yes. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Steve Cranmer. I've been here about six years. Um, I work on the sun and other stars, mostly their outer atmospheres, like their coronas um, uh, that are seen in the UV and the X-ray, and their, their winds, outflows of gas from pretty much all types of stars. Um, in terms of a new fun thing, I put something at the lower right here of a new result that's coming out in about a week uh, for synthesizing what color different objects would appear to the human eye if we could see them up close, uh, going from the hottest stars all the way to some of the largest gas giant type planets. The title of the paper is Brown Dwarfs Are Violet. And you can sort of see that there. That's all. OK, I'm going to pass this off because Gilly would like to share the screen. Yes, thank you. I'm always a little bit extra, uh, but it's just some animations. So if you see this, I'll just keep going. Hi, everyone. My name's Gilly. Uh, I'm a seventh year now, um, and I publish under a variety of names, trying to sort of figure out what it's going to be. I do research with Steve, who just spoke. I'm working on three different projects, but the thing that ties them all together is I'm looking off limb. So um, either way high in the corona or just now, just down near the sun. So I study light from the sun's atmosphere. I'm also the student representative to AGU and SHINE. Uh, so if you need anything from those two conferences or groups, uh, you can talk to me. Um, I deserve a hammer from someone. I don't know who has the hammer or where or, or why, but that's my 30 second mark. Um, but yeah, as the oldest grad student remaining, along with Lauren Matilski, I think we have to co-share this hammer. Um, and lastly, I'll just mention that I do a lot of outreach work, both at my undergrad at the planetarium and at uh, nearby elementary schools as well. So this is my way too much stuff. Does someone else want to take the um, presentation? That person could be Yuda Natsu, maybe. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm Yuta Notsu and I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I, 
I'm a postdoc at uh, Mendy Adas, and I'm still working with Adam Kowalski, and I'm studying stellar flares and the star spot in, the, in the many aspects of stellar activity through observations. I'm mainly using uh, Apache Point Observatory spectrograph and uh, also several satellites, including TESS and uh, X-ray instruments. And I like uh, outside, <laughs> so skiing and hiking and uh, watching baseball, tennis, running, so I'm enjoying Colorado a lot now. So nice to see here and uh, happy to collaborate more with many of you. Yep. Yes. Hi, uh, I'm Kevin Reardon. Uh, I'm a researcher at the National Solar Observatory and an adjoint professor at APS. And I study the sun, but at very high resolution to understand the physics. So we're very excited about the arrival of DKIST, the four meter telescope, uh, that gives us these great images you see of the photosphere and the plasma that's pushing those bright dots of magnetic field around. But what I especially love is studying the chromosphere where the plasma pressure and the magnetic field sort of are equal strength. And so they are constantly fighting with each other and doing all kinds of interesting and uh, exciting things. Um, and so we're looking forward to uh, exploring those more. Um, and for fun uh, and to get out uh, in my free time, I play Ultimate Frisbee. Thanks. <clears throat> Hi, ho, Brian B. Hoffman here. Uh, I am a sixth year uh, grad student. I work with Kevin Reardon uh, studying the chromosphere uh, specifically. Right now, I am working on studying the, uh, uh, the uh, chromosphere at with both uh, spectral lines and uh, millimeter observations with ALMA, trying to get a better handle on uh, how those different techniques work, how they can work together, uh, the complexities involved with trying to understand that sort of thing. And for fun, well, I, I love bugs and nature in general. <laughs> Uh, and I just, I'm an absent-minded geek who loves to talk about nerdy stuff. So yeah, hi. Next. You're muted, John. All right, this is actually an embedded movie. So let's see yeah, if I reshare uh, he, my screen. He, he cannot join. So uh, let me just uh, play his audio. Yeah, oh, I got the audio here. Let's see, can you hear it, can you hear it now? I'm I studied the formation of stars and star clusters. Uh, do you want me to run it or you? I'll run it. I'm John Valley. I studied the formation of stars and star clusters and how n-body dynamics combines with feedback to self-regulate the star formation process. As a rule, any astrophysical system that is spinning, is accreting, and has magnetic fields will drive a jet or collimated wind. In my spare time, I think about fundamental physics and cosmology. I play guitar, and I test the laws of nature on the ski slopes of Colorado. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Anna Estes. Uh, I'm a first year here in APS, um, but I also uh, attended CU for my undergrad career and uh, just graduated from APS this May. Um, as an undergrad, uh, my research was with uh, Meredith McGregor working on stellar flaring activity from Proxima Centauri. Um, but my current research interests vary from black holes to galaxies to cosmology. And I just started a um, RA position with Jeremy Darling looking at the Lyman Alpha Forest data uh, to develop methods on eventually measuring the cosmic acceleration via redshift drift. Um, and that's about it. Glad to be here. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Peter, and I'm a first year uh, graduate student here as well. I'm coming from uh, UC Berkeley, uh, where I studied engineering physics. Um, my research here is TBD, but during my undergrad, I worked on MAVEN, um, studying atmospheric escape at, at Mars. 
And so that got me interested in um, space plasmas and instrumentation. Uh, so we'll see uh, where that takes me. Um, in my free time, I like playing music. I play guitar and various other instruments. And I like the general uh, Boulder outdoors activities that everyone else likes as well. Hi everybody, I'm Nick Schneider. Camera should be on. And I'm a faculty member in the department and I'm a planetary scientist with a research home in LASP. I study the Mars atmosphere using the MAVEN spacecraft also with the interesting uh, question of how does the lack of a magnetic field matter? And you're seeing one of our favorite discoveries in the animation at the left, which is that um, instead of lacking aurora, having no magnetic field, Mars has global aurora. It's one of the um, discoveries of our mission. And uh, one click forward, you'll see um, uh, what I like to do for fun. I am an elite athlete in a sport that I invented, the Colorado Biathlon, which combines fly fishing and mountain biking. And you see there a tiny trout I caught while sitting on the saddle of my mountain bike. Thanks. Hi everybody, my name is Seth Hornstein. Uh, I'm in my 15th year here at CU. Um, I think I get to announce myself with two new titles for this year. Uh, I am the undergraduate associate chair for the department. Um, and then also now with the university restructuring, I now get to call myself a teaching as associate professor. Um, I'm also the director of Summer Spouse Observatory. Um, and my research these days is into how do we make our undergraduate education courses um, better for our students. Um, and so I think I'll leave it with that. Lots of pretty pictures of telescopes. Yeah, I'm Rose Smith. I'm the new manager of Summer's Bosch Observatory. New as in I've worked for the observatory for about eight years now off and on, but new to the manager position. I'm an APS graduate in the undergrad. Um, I previously worked at Software Bisque, the telescope manufacturer who manufactures the telescopes we have here at SBO. I'm part of the New Horizons and Lucy um, occultation um, campaigns, and I've also worked with uh, Orion, uh, Crew Dragon, and Virgin Galactic in cruise space flight. And in my free time, I like to make things, especially machining. <clears throat> so, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mercedes Pachado. I'm a second year grad student from Puerto Rico. Now here at CU, um, I study sun, specifically uh, solar energetics to relate it to um, solar eruptions, specifically flares. Um, on my free time, I like to make um, not so good drawings that you can see here and also photograph stuff. So cute animals as well. Hi, I'm Dave Brain. I'm a faculty member uh, here in the APS department. On the research side, a question that has intrigued me and will continue to intrigue me for the next several years at least is shown here on the slide, just six words, uh, habitable worlds require magnetic fields. For me, that means thinking about uh, what causes planets to lose their atmosphere. I use spacecraft observations in my research group and also computer simulations. For fun, I hate to say that I do enjoy the outside running of any kind and skiing of any kind. Thanks. Hi everyone, I'm Cole. I'm a second year grad student and a hail fellow um, in the department. Right now I'm working on a classification of solar flares as well as a, um, with Adam Kowalski, a, uh, a code to improve the, uh, or, or, or kind of update the data reduction process for uh, spectroscopic, for solar spectroscopic, spectroscopic data. Um, in my free time, if I'm not working on science, I am invariably on a bicycle. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Meredith McGregor. Um, I'm a still fairly new assistant professor in the department. I started about a year and a half ago. Um, 
I and my research group work on all things planet formation, planetary systems. So we work on disks around stars. We try and characterize exoplanets and detect new exoplanets. We look at stellar flares and try and think about how that might influence the system as a whole. Um, so kind of anything that I can throw an observational telescope at and try and better understand planets. Um, and I'm very excited that we recently got some new funding to actually try and create a synthetic MDORF exoplanet atmosphere in a lab and zap some microbes and see what happens to them. Um, and outside of work, I do all things outdoors, running, hiking, camping, and all of those preferably with my red fluffy dog. And we can go to the next one because I'm talking for Travis as well. Um, so I wanted to, uh, Travis asked me to include this. Uh, Travis Metcalf is a, a local research scientist um, and he has a really cool project he's working on right now, um, combining observations from the Large Binocular Telescope and TESS. Um, so with LBT, he's doing spectral polarimetry and spectroscopy, trying to look at the magnetic fields of stars. And with TESS, he's doing astroseismology and exoplanets. And so he's trying to combine data sets from these two different telescopes. And he is actively looking for a grad student who might want to work on this with him. Um, so if you find this really interesting and exciting, um, you can reach out directly to Travis. You can reach out to me. I can get you in touch with Travis. Um, so that's it. Hi, everyone. My name is Johnny. I'm from Michigan. I'm a first year grad student here. Um, I've done research on runaway OB stars in the SMC, so massive stars that are ejected from clusters. And I've also, I'm finishing a paper right now on blazar redshift constraints using the Lyman Alpha Forest. Uh, I'm interested in extragalactic and observational cosmology work. So hopefully I do that in the future here. And in my free time, I love bouldering. That's what I'm really into. Hi, everyone. Uh, good to see you all. My name is Anne-Marie Madigan, and I'm an assistant professor. And uh, this is my fifth year, sixth year, sixth year in Boulder. Um, I work on the collective gravity of individually small but collectively massive groups of bodies. Um, and my research group right now is working on um, systems of stars orbiting supermassive black holes, uh, icy planets or minor planets beyond Neptune in our solar system, and also the dynamic of dark matter in galaxies. Um, I'll be giving a colloquium on October 4th. I, I'd love to see you all there virtually if that works. Um, and then finally, in my spare time, um, just like Nick, I've made up my own sport. I like to cycle to bakeries and uh, eat croissants all around town and then cycle home. And it's, it's fantastic. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My, uh, my name is Haley. I'm a fifth year grad, sixth year grad student. Oh boy, working with Jeremy Darling. Um, I mainly study <coughs> OH mega masers, which are a rare phenomena that can be found in merging galaxies. Uh, but importantly, this the OH amazing line can spoof the same line as the 21 centimeter H1 line. So in untargeted H1 surveys, they can show up hidden in there. So my uh, main research goal is to find them in there uh, and then use OH amazing lasers to do much really cool science. Um, in my free time, uh, I like to run long distances and listen to podcasts about weird and obscure topics. Uh, but I'm actually going to pick up Anne Marie's um, hobby because that sounds way better. Hey, I'm I'm Patrick Bear. Uh, I'm a second year PhD student now. Um, I got my start in research by doing uh, X-ray spectroscopy of O and B stars. Uh, and now I'm working with Kevin France on the opposite end, doing uh, mostly far UV on M dwarfs, uh, exoplanet hosts. And occasionally they'll let me go and break some of the equipment in the rocket lab. Uh, outside of hobbies, I like to boulder. Uh, and I'm a car guy, which has invaded my personality. So I'd feel remiss if I didn't mention that I like to drive my Miata. Hi all, I'm Hishani Pires and I'm a third year grad student. Um, my research is related to the big question of understanding what happened to the Martian atmosphere over time 
Um, for this, I'm specifically looking at nitrogen and tracking the fractionation and the enrichment of nitrogen isotopes in the Mars atmosphere um, to understand atmospheric loss processes better. Um, uh, for fun, I like to hike. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Doug Duncan, recently retired faculty member. I've been fortunate enough to have really three careers in astronomy. I started as part of the group that first found sunspot cycles and the rotation of other stars like the sun. Then I joined the staff of the Hubble Space Telescope and switched my research to the origin of the elements, particularly light elements from the Big Bang. Uh, but when I came to CU and to APS 20 years ago, uh, I joined the newly formed group doing research on teaching and learning of astronomy and physics. I wrote the first book on how to teach with clickers. And I have a particular interest in technology and what it does to improve or the opposite of learning. So if you're teaching and you have a question about your students texting, uh, I've done research on that. I welcome questions. And in spare time, I'm another cyclist. Hi everyone, um, I'm Jenny. I'm a grad student working with Jeremy Darling and um, I study stellar masers in the galactic center. So what we see here are a bunch of stars in the galactic center that have basically microwave lasers in their atmospheres, which allows us to track their motions with telescopes like VLA and ALMA. Um, and then ultimately what we wanna do with this information is uh, learn things about the galactic center like the dark matter mass distribution, uh, and also make measurements of Sagittarius A star, the black hole at the center of the galaxy. Um, and for fun, it seems like, unlike most everyone else, I like to do things like stay inside and read big, long fantasy books. So that's what I do. Very not Boulder. <laughs> um, I'm Amy. I'm a third year grad student. I work with Julie, and I'm currently working um, to build a convolutional neural network to identify galaxy mergers um, in the Hubble Space Telescope Candle Survey. And once I have all of those identified, we're gonna go um, do some merger and star formation and merger AGN connection um, work. And along with that, I really care about making sure neural networks are interpretable and that they're actually picking up on things that are physically meaningful for um, astronomers. So this is how my network this week reacted uh, when I threw a bunch of galaxies at it. But hopefully that'll be better soon. Uh, if you want to hear more about it, self-promotion, my comps is next week, so come listen. Um, and I'm also not an outdoorsy person for fun. I like to watch baseball, I like to read, um, and I recently started volunteering at an equine therapy barn. Yeah, hello. Um, my name is Ben Oppenheimer, and I'm a research scientist here. Um, and as you know, see, I love cosmological simulations, which span many scales. Um, uh, in terms of extragalactic astronomy from clusters all the way down to simulating black holes. And that's something that I'm really interested in these days is um, how do these tiny black holes um, affect gaseous halos which are massive and sort of outweigh the uh, galaxies and redistribute those baryons. And let's see, for fun, um, I'm an outdoor person, definitely. I do a lot of outdoor activities, all poorly. So I don't say I'm a cyclist or a hiker. Uh, I do it all. And that way I can't say I'm bad at anything. Hi, I'm Maddie Bowen. I'm a first year grad student. Um, I am starting a research assistantship with Brian Fleming on the Sprite CubeSat, uh, which will be examining supernova remnants in the far UV. Um, I did my undergrad at the University of Michigan. Um, I did some work on the Simons Observatory Cosmology Telescope, um, and the site for that is on the left. Uh, I also did a co-op for NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, uh, working with the sampling group um, for the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover. Um, and in my free time, I like to go camping and go on road trips, um, paddleboarding and snowboarding. Um, this was a hike that I did uh, up by Mount Rainier this summer on an extended road trip.
Hi, everyone. I'm Maria Tianco. I'm a postdoc at JILA. Um, I study the internal dynamics of globular clusters. Um, and when I join Anne Marie Madigan's group, I um, am getting into the dynamics of smaller bodies in the outer solar system. Um, I'm also organizing a journal club this year um, where we talk about the latest papers on Astro PH. Um, so look out for an email from me about that if you're interested. Um, for fun, I am not an outdoor person either. Um, I like to play video games, uh, read, um, and also learn um, new musical instruments. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm Tyler McMacken. I am a grad student with Andrew Hamilton. I'm technically from the physics department, but I've been kindly adopted into this wonderful APS community. Um, so I study black hole interiors and do both visualization and a lot of applying quantum field theory just to uh, see how you deal with all the weird infinities that you encounter there. Um, I also got a bachelor's in music. So I play piano and organ and uh, harpsichord is the picture that's listed there. And that's all. Hello, everyone. Um, I am also an invader from the physics department. My name is Leah Henkla. I'm starting my fourth year as a graduate student. Um, with the aid of my 18-year-old cat, Nermal, pictured there, as well as my advisors, uh, Mitch Beagleman, Dmitry Zensky, I study uh, fundamental plasma processes such as turbulence, non-thermal particle acceleration, which you can see in the pictures, um, which are relevant to high-energy astrophysical systems such as accretion disks, uh, relativistic jets, and pulsar wind nebula. I also work with Jason Dexter on applying some of these results to look at radiation coming from the innermost regions of X-ray binaries. For fun, yes, I take myself as far away from civilization as possible by backpacking. This is a picture of me on an 80 mile long trail called the High Sierra Trail uh, in the Sierras last year. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tatsuya. I'm a third year grad student in APS and I work with Amory on stellar dynamics. So the motion of stars around supermassive black holes. Uh, specifically, uh, my most recent project is working on the formation of what's called eccentric nuclear disks. These are lopsided stellar configurations um, from uh, a recoil kick of a merger of two uh, black holes. Um, so that's some exciting stuff uh, going on. And for fun, I play a lot of music. Um, so I'm, I'm in a band as the drummer uh, right now. And I also play guitar and bass as well. Hi, my name is Brandon Hilliard and I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, I went to Cal State LA for my master's in physics and uh, Pepperdine University for my uh, bachelor's in physics. Um, I've interned at JPL and NASA headquarters and had quite a bit of experience with mission development um, and the NASA side of things, um, but I'm wanting to switch back into the science role a lot more now that I'm here at CU. Um, specifically, exoplanet habitability is um, my number one interest. Um, I'm really into hiking, biking, and camping, um, and off-roading most recently because I got a new car. I'm very excited about that. Um, but unfortunately, I also dislocated my ankle uh, a few months ago, so I'm still slowly creeping back up to build up my endurance and actually go on real, real long hikes and whatnot. Um, I'm also a huge baseball fan. Um, go Dodgers. I'm Julie Comerford. I'm interested in galaxy mergers, active galactic nuclei, and gravitational waves. And these three things are all connected because galaxy mergers can drive gas onto black holes, igniting them as active galactic nuclei. And galaxy mergers also bring together supermassive black hole mergers that are sources of gravitational waves uh, that we hope to be detecting uh, soon in the next few years and decades. And my research group is made up of grad students, Jimmy Negus, Amy Schechter, and postdocs, Scott Barrows and Joe Simon. Thanks. Hi, I'm Angela Collier. I'm a postdoc at Jilla and Anne Marie Madigan's group. And I'm recently funded by the NSF, which is really exciting. I study galaxy evolution with numerical and analytical methods. And I'm interested in how dark matter dynamics can create exotic galaxies that we observe, and also how dark matter dynamics can like make substructure that we might 
be able to observe by its interaction with baryons. Um, thanks. Hello, I'm Andrew Hamilton. I'm a professor in APS. I want to sing you a poem. It's called 30 Seconds. If you've got only 30 seconds, you better focus your goal. If you want to solve half of physics, you must fall into a black hole. If you have only half a minute, but you want to go super far, then sharpen your wits and your pencil and fall into Sagittarius A star. If you've got but a millionth of a year, huh? Three times divided by three, you better get on and hoof it to the singularity. If you've got less than 10 to the minus 16 of the age of the universe and the refs got their thumb on the clock, then you better shut up right away because that's all the time you have got. How, how do I follow that now, Andrew? Uh, mi, nombre, mi nombre is Jorge, hola. Uh, I'm a scholar here at APS. I also wear a hat at Fisk and I also have an affiliation outside of APS. My background, my scientific research has to do with observational cosmology. However, I get distracted easily and often, and I have parallel careers building and developing exhibitions and programs for museums. And go wonder, my team recently got a big fat grant from NSF to look at video games and how we can use video games to leverage their environments, to inspire uh, new generations into STEAM fields. Furthermore, I direct an effort here on campus called the Nature, Environment, Science and Technology uh, Studio for the Arts. And if you're a graduate student and you've ever thought of the possibility of bridging art and science through your research, come talk to me because I have money for you and a great network for, you know, use that as an avenue. Thank you. Gracias. Hello, uh, John Keller here, the director of Fisk Planetarium. Uh, at Fisk Planetarium, we make lots of movies, which you can see listed on the top line. We also do lots of outreach um, and education-related work. Um, I am also, uh, we also are involved in K-12 education and COVID is still with us. So field trips are still not happening. So we're still doing lots of virtual work with our K-12 audiences. Um, and then a huge plug for Voyagers, the musical, October 22nd to 31st, come learn about the Voyager mission with two actors who will sing about the Voyager mission almost as well as Andrew. I also do occultation research through a project called Recon. And if travel restrictions don't go into place this next week, I'll be in Spain uh, in the first last week of September chasing a Lucy occultation um, for Euripides. Uh, I enjoy paddleboarding and I've been trying to learn how to stand up paddleboard on rivers. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Erica Ellingson. I'm a professor here at APS. I've done a lot of work in multi-wavelength observational cosmology, um, especially mapping the dark matter distributions and galaxy clusters. But more recently, I have decided to look a little bit more close to home, both in time and space, in a field called skyscape archaeology, which at some point used to be called archaeoastronomy where I've been focusing on methodology, statistical analysis, and um, work in 6th century Peru and 14th century Arizona. I lead the CU STARS Outreach Program. And if you're interested in this program, we're having an open meeting tomorrow at SBO at 5.30 PM. Everybody's welcome to come and find out more about the program and learn how to participate. Um, in the rest of my time, I'm a long distance trekker. I've like the Colorado Trail, I have my eye on the Continental Divide Trail, and I enjoy applying a Darwinian approach to my garden. Hi, my name is Dmitry Uzdensky. I'm a professor in the physics department here, and also the director of the Center for Integrated Plasma Studies, or SIPS. 
in the physics department. My research interests are in theoretical and computational plasma astrophysics with um, a focus uh, on uh, plasma physical processes such as turbulence, uh, you can see it uh, in this cube uh, at, at the bottom, and magnetic reconnection, which is just above it, as, as, it, as they happen uh, in astrophysical environments, in particular relativistic uh, environments of neutron stars and black holes. And um, while I do enjoy uh, hiking in the mountains, one thing I don't do is bicycling. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Werner, and uh, I work in Gamow Tower in the, integrated, in the Center for Integrated Plasma Studies. I spend about half of my time on plasma astrophysics using uh, PIC simulation uh, with a special focus on particle acceleration and fundamental plasma processes like magnetic reconnection. And in my spare time during pandemics, I like to sing choral music in parking garages. Hi, uh, I'm Kei Tanaka, a new postdoc at the CASA, working with Professor John Barry. Uh, I just moved to Boulder in July from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I'm working on massive star formation using theoretical model, simulations, and also uh, various telescopes. And uh, other than research, I like basketball, beer, ramen, and so on. So I'm super happy to join the APS. Thank you. Hello, I'm Adam Kowalski. Um, <clears throat> I'm interested in anything having to do with stellar atmospheres. I study the near ultraviolet and optical spectra of flares from M dwarfs and the sun. Um, I'm a developer of the physics in Radian, which is a widely used radiation hydrodynamics code used to interpret um, flare spectra. Um, I'm currently working on uh, line broadening physics for interpreting future observations uh, with the DKIST and the BISP. On the right, um, I show a bright flare kernel. We'd like to get spectra of these bright flare kernels with the DKIST. Um, and I illustrate um, uh, the improvement from the DKIST um, uh, by placing the Great Lakes at the sun. Um, and uh, for fun, uh, I guess I, um, in my, it's not for fun, but in my spare time, I work on a uh, Python only replacement for IRAF. It's called Spec Lab. Watch out for it. It's coming. Um, I do kickboxing, um, which really isn't that much fun. And I watch basketball from my couch. Um, hi, I'm Scott Barrows. Um, I've been a postdoc with uh, CASA uh, for some time now. And um, I'm on the many things I've done while here uh, is um, look for wandering black holes in the outskirts of galaxies. And uh, we've been getting some disk spectra from APO uh, for a lot of these and confirming that like this one, they're probably the real deal, which is exciting. Um, and in my spare time, I, I'm a competitive runner. Thanks. Hi there, uh, I'm Joe Simon. I'm a relatively new postdoc here, uh, just starting my second year uh, working with Julie Comerford. Um, and I study um, the gravitational waves from binary supermassive black holes. Um, so I'm a part of the NanoGrav uh, collaboration, uh, which is a pulsar timing array. Uh, we're searching for the gravitational wave background in the nanohertz uh, frequency range. Uh, and then we, uh, and then I'm working on um, using the gravitational uh, radiation to then um, uh, uh, study uh, galaxy mergers and, uh, and the binary supermassive black holes that they host. Okay, uh, hi everyone, I'm Jason Dexter. I'm a third year faculty member here. Um, I study black hole accretion flows, including using resolved black hole images um, like shown from the Event Horizon Telescope and using numerical simulations of accretion of gas onto black holes. 
Um, I work with several people in APS and Jilla, as shown in our summer group meeting photo there. And I'm happy to talk with interested students at any time. For example, we could talk about how that uh, linear polarization map, the twisty pattern in the swirls there on the right, um, imply that the magnetic fields near the event horizon of the black hole in M87 are strong enough to push back on the gas and launch the huge jet that we see coming out on galactic scales. Okay, thanks. Well, hi, everyone. I'm Nicolas Seppi. I'm a postdoc at GILA. I'm working with Jason Dexter and Mitch Vigelman. And I'm studying accretion disk around black holes, mostly with numerical simulations. And recently, I've been interested in bridging the gap that exists between like, the very long time scale on which black hole system evolve and the very small time scale on which particles that radiate, for example, are accelerated. And this is kind of the patchwork I tried to do uh, using different simulation trying to bridge that gap. Uh, during my spare time, I like to play music, listen to always new music, uh, read, and do a lot of stuff outdoors, especially hiking, mountain biking, and kayaking that I discovered here in Bordeaux. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Jack Burns, a professor of astrophysics uh, here in the APS department. My uh, research team and I study uh, the cosmic dawn and dark ages of the uh, early universe, uh, both the time period when the first stars form and just before. In order to do that, we use emissions from neutral hydrogen that are redshifted to uh, low frequencies of a few tens of megahertz. That requires us to take our radio telescopes to the far side of the moon. Our first uh, radio telescope, uh, NASA-funded telescope, is going to uh, launch in late February. Uh, this particular first version is going to go to the near side um, and will allow us to um, examine the plasma environment near the moon, but also to map uh, the foreground, which we need to understand for these cosmological observations. Uh, and what's more fun than talking to my seven-year-old grandson about visiting the moon? Uh, he tells me he wants to be an astronaut. Hi, I'm Alex, a um, new postdoc here. Um, I mostly work uh, using um, plasma simulations to study the magnetic spheres of neutron stars and black holes. And these are uh, visualizations of some of my simulations. Uh, these are magnetic field lines. And I mostly study how magnetic field in these uh, extreme environments can uh, dissipate into particle energy and radiation. Uh, in my spare time, I like to make things. Uh, these are origami I made. Um, I also like to play the piano. Uh, thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Mark Rest. Uh, I absolutely hate talking about myself, but I love talking about science. So I made a slide about this problem that I got started thinking about when everything shut down with COVID. And the question I tried to ask answer are uh, what are the contact interval, contact count, and contact duration distributions for individual random walkers on a two-dimensional plane? Maybe the surprising thing is that that question hasn't been answered. In any case, the statistics are highly non-Poisson, uh, but there's uh, some key time scales in the problem, the mean free collision time and the ballistic crossing time. And the, those time scales relative to the random walk uh, duration step means that you can reduce uh, populations of different particle number density, random walk step size and particle radius uh, down to some common forms. So thanks very much. Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Boyer and I'm a fourth year grad. I'm currently working with Dave Brain on ion escape from the Martian atmosphere. Um, I guess in my free time, I've been dabbling a little bit in uh, science policy. This past summer, I spent a lot of time working um, with the state government and meeting some people that they told me were very important. Um, and I also am working with some other grads in APS on um, Spanish outreach at the observatory. And so we are going to be planning uh, several um, uh, Spanish language and also uh, English language um, observing nights 
uh, as this semester. So please uh, keep an eye out for that. Thanks. Hello, everyone. My name is Nora Al Saeed, and I'm a fifth year grad student working with Paul Hain, studying water ice on Mars. Um, specifically looking at how water is transported in the polar regions through CO2 snowfall, but I'm generally interested in all surface and atmosphere interactions on Mars and any planet. Um, I, in my spare time, I like to play football, I mean, uh, soccer, and uh, like to paint and do commissions, so. All right, I think that's everybody. Um, can everyone unmute and give ourselves a big round of applause for great introduction. Thank you everyone for sticking to time and we are looking forward to seeing you for colloquium next week. Um, Mitch, are you here? Is Mitch here? Um, we are Maybe not. Um, we are going to be doing um, colloquia as a hybrid in person and on Zoom. So for those, um, we encourage people who are comfortable to um, come in person to build community, but we also acknowledge that uh, this is a scary time for a lot of people. And so if you're more comfortable um, coming over Zoom, we will also have a Zoom link for all the colloquia. Uh, we have a, a great set of speakers lined up for this fall. So we're really looking forward to seeing you all there. Thanks, everybody. Nice to meet you. So long, everybody. <laughs>